Hi friends, uh, myself Kazi Sayyad Shujat. Today uh, we'll discuss how to design a tension member. Currently, I'm working as an assistant professor in civil engineering department, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. At the end of the session, the students will be able to design a tension member. So, uh, before going to tension member, we'll see the definition. What is the uh, basic meaning of a tension member? So, a structure or a member which is subjected to two pulling forces uh, applied at the ends is called as a tension member. Uh, the members and connections are so arranged that eccentricity in connection and bending stresses on the members are not developed. So we have to ensure that uh, no eccentricity should be developed and due to this we will get a uniform distribution of the force. So the stress in such member are assumed to be uniformly distributed over the net section and hence members subjected only to axial tension are supposed to be the most efficient and economical. Uh, now we will see types of tension member. Uh, basically there are four cat categories of tension member. The first one is wires and cables, bars and rods, single structural plates or sections and built up sections. Uh, sections include rolled sections. I uh, will see the design of tension member. Basically we have to satisfy three criteria. The first one is the design strength due to the gross section yielding or yielding of gross section. So the strength in gross section yielding is given by TDG is equal to AG FY divided by gamma M0 where AG is equal to the gross area of the cross section in mm square. FY is the yield strength of the material in megapascal and gamma M0 is partial safety factor for failure in tension by yielding which is equal to 1.1. This is the design strength due to yielding of gross section. Another criteria is design strength due to the rupture of critical section. So uh, there are various uh, sections. The first one is plate. So for plate the design strength due to the rupture of critical section which is given by TDN is equal to 0.9 an fu divided by gamma m0 where an is equal to the net effective area of the member fu is the ultimate stress of the material and gamma m1 is nothing but partial safety factor for failure in tension by rupture which is given by 1.25 so we'll see what is mean by the net effective area and how to calculate the net effective area of the member uh, the first one is for the plate uh, which is uh, seen in this figure that two holes are there so the net area for the plate section is given by b minus n into dh multiplied by t here in this case n is equal to 2 because we have we see that there are two holes and uh, dh is the diameter of hole uh, diameter of bolt hole and uh, b is the width of the section uh, this is the area of net effective area of the section for the plate. If suppose we have a diamond or staggered pattern then we have to calculate the net effective area based on uh, various patterns. So the very first one is nothing but the zigzag. This is the failure in this case will be along one will be along the plane 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The another one will be uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. Another will be 1, 2, 3, 5. So basically we have to see the trial and error method to determine the minimum area, minimum net area. But to uh, ca how to calculate the zigzag pattern, we'll have, we have the formula that An is equal to B minus N into DH plus summation of P i square divided by 4 G i into T. Now here we have considered uh, the uh, pattern of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 a random case. Uh, we can uh, see various cases by trial and error method. Uh, so here n is equal to 5. So a n is equal to b minus n into d h plus we have 2 pitch. Okay. So summation of 2p square divided by 4 gauge 1, 2, 3, 4 into t 
the descriptions of each and every term is given here dh is the diameter of bolt hole b is the width t is the thickness n is the number of bolt p is the staggered pitch and g is the gauge length now for the threaded section we have to calculate uh, by the formula tdn is equal to 0.9 an fu upon gamma m not here an is equal to 0 0.78 pi by 4 d square so net area for the threaded section will be less than uh, pi by 4 d square so we have taken 0 0.78 pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of bolt nominal diameter of bolt and gamma m1 is nothing but partial safety factor for failure in tension by rupture next is design strength for the angle section so for the angle section we have the formula tdn is equal to 0 0.9 a and c fu divided by gamma m1 plus beta a g naught f y divided by gamma m naught now a and c is the area, net area of the connected leg a g naught is the net area of the outstanding leg f u is the ultimate strength gamma m1 is the partial safety factor beta is the correction factor which is given by this formula uh, each and every term is given in this figure uh, so w is the outstanding length t is the thickness f y is the yield strength f u is the ultimate strength b s for for so for the bolted connection b s is equal to w plus gauge minus thickness and for the welded connection b s will be equal to w l is the length of connection this is the length of connection so each and every term for beta is given here uh, the description is given here and uh, we have another formula for the design of angle section to calculate the uh, that, uh, rupture strength a preliminary formula for the design so tdn is equal to alpha an fu divided by gamma m naught here alpha is equal to 0 0.6 for 1 or 2 volts it is equal to 0 0.7 for 3 volts it is equal to 0 0.8 for four or more bolts or equivalent weld length where an is nothing but net area of the uh, total cross section net area for the total cross section next is ANC is the connected leg AG naught is the outstanding leg T is the thickness of the leg so for the other section in case we have channel section T section or some other sections belt up sections normally for the channel sections so tdn is equal to 0 0.9 anc fu divided by gamma m1 plus beta ag naught fi divided by gamma m naught so beta is calculated based on the shear lag effect bs is the distance between the farthest edge of the outstanding leg to the nearest bolt or weld line in the connected leg of the cross section so this is the formula for other sections either it may be a channel section etc next we will see another type of failure is the uh, we have to also check that the our design should be safe in block shear failure so the design strength due to block shear failure is given by td two formulas td b1 and td b2 so the formula is avg into fy divided by root 3 gamma m naught plus 0 0.9 atn fu divided by gamma m1 so whichever is less that will be the design strength in block shear failure the each and every time is given avg is the minimum gross area in shear lag and avn is equal to minimum net area in shear along a line transmitted by the force and similarly we have t that for the gro uh, tensile gross area and uh, tn for the net area in tension fu is the ultimate strength fi is the yield strength and these are the factors partial safety factors this indicates the shear failure this indicates the tensile failure this indicates the shear failure this indicates the tensile failure and accordingly tdb1 and tdb2 whichever is less we'll take it as the design strength in block shear failure the each and every figure explains that uh, so for the shear we'll have the shear plane as 1 2 and 4 3 and the tension plane is 2 3 so tension plane is this shear plane is this here also shear plane is this tension plane is this uh, for the bolted connections and for the welded connection 
now the design procedure for the tension member is first of all we will calculate the gross area of the section depending upon the factor load so ag is equal to tu fi divided by gamma m0 we will select a section of gross area we will increase the gross area by 25 to 40 percent and we will select a section from the st uh, steel table and we will calculate the number of bolts and welding length required then we will find out the strength in yielding of gross section then we will find the strength in rupture and then we will find the strength in block shear so the strength obtained should be more than factor tension so basically the strength obtained in this case should be more than the factor tension this strength should be more than the factor tension if it is too much on higher side or it is less than then we have to revise the sections and we have to also check also take a check uh, on uh, as per IS 800 2007 table number 3 so this is the table number 3 uh, this is a check for slenderness ratio uh, you can find it in IS table number 3 IS 800 2007 table number 3 uh, so whatever we have discussed we will see some review questions the first question is the best suited rolled section for tension member is you can pause the video and answer the question the T section and the second one is a plate used for connecting two or more structure member intersecting at each joint is term as a gusset plate so these are my references thank you